Hi, my name is Doug Schneider, and I want to welcome you back to another episode of Real Hi-Fi. Now, in the previous episode, what I talked about was how you could use the human voice to at least partially evaluate an audio system. This time, I want to backtrack a little more and tell you why listening, listening with your own ears, is so important. And while that might seem obvious since we're buying sound equipment, you do not know how many times I've seen people go down the path of buying gear based on review, reputation, or just because they got a good price and been unhappy with it. But I'm gonna tell you a story about me because I did it once and I don't want you to make the same mistake. Now, if you watch the first video, you'll know that my first system had an integrated amplifier in it, but by the 1990s, I was into separate components. In other words, pre-amplifier, power amplifier combination. And the first separates I bought came from a company called Forte, a division of Threshold. And the power amplifier was the Model 3. 200 watts per channel, class AB design, just a really good solid state amplifier. Now the Forte components and in fact Threshold had really good reputations and good reviews. Still, I listened to those separates at the store for a long time and I loved what I heard and I liked what I saw and the build quality was great. I was really confident I was making a good purchase decision and I did. They came home and worked ideally powering my speakers for years. I loved it. I should have kept them a whole lot longer because a friend who owned a hi-fi store phoned me and he said, hey, the Model 3 is discontinued, but I know someone who wants to buy one. I can sell them yours and I'll give you the Model 6, the brand new model, newer technology, newer version, for not that much more money. And actually it was quite a bit more money. Still, I thought, what have I got to lose? Same company, new version, new technology. What could go wrong? Everything. I was stuck with that amp the moment I took the box from the store. And I brought it home on my speakers and I couldn't believe what I heard. It was awful. And I don't mean just a little different. My speakers sounded smaller than they were. They had no bass, it was anemic and the mid-range was muted. Friends who came over to my house who knew my system well listened and they're like, something go wrong here? Uh, yeah, I bought a new amp. It was awful. But I tried to love it. I did what audiophiles do. Break in, warm up, condition to it, all that stuff. It, nothing worked. It sounded awful. So about six months later, I listed it in a local kind of classified ads paper called The Bargain Finder and quite a few people phoned. And these people who phoned did the right thing. They wanted to come to my place and listen to it first. And they all did. And came to the same conclusion. It's really a bad amp. I mean, they could tell my system did not sound good. They weren't buying it. Then one guy phoned and he didn't want to come out to my house. He convinced me to bring it to his place so he could try it on his system, really the best way to go about it. And I was really impressed with this guy because he listened intently. And I mean, really intently to the same song played over and over and over again for an hour with my amp driving his speakers. And then just turned around and said, this amp is no good. I couldn't disagree. I took that amp home thinking I may never be able to get rid of this thing. But I listed it a few months later, bargain finder again, reduced price. Now I was losing some money on it and a guy phoned me. Forte amp? Yeah, I want to buy it. Do you want to come over and listen to it? I said, no, 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 no. Just have it boxed up. I know it. I'll just give you the cash. Sound good? Sounds great. He came to the door, I gave him the box, took the cash, locked up, that was that. The next day he phoned me. This amp is terrible. It sounds bad. Give me my money back. And I'm like, no, no, no. We made a deal. I mean, you bought it unheard. So take it from me and him probably. Never buy something you can't hear first or that you can't at least return it in a reasonable amount of time. Listen for yourself. Thank you for watching.